More than 500 artists will be showcasing their best pieces at this year's Art Fair on the Square. So the Celebration of the Arts kicks off this weekend. It's an amazing event yeah. to go to. News 3 this morning reporter Eden Chuckle is here in studio this morning. She joins us with a preview. Good morning, Eden. Hi, good morning, Adam and Danica. Yeah, so this is a chance for artists to showcase their best photographs, paintings, and jewelry. And I've got... Uh, Leslie Emery, who's the artist, and Erica Monroe Kane from the Madison Museum of Contemporary Art. Good morning, ladies. Thanks for being here. Good morning. All right, so tell us a little bit about this event. What can people expect this year? We're so excited to have Art Fair on the Square again this summer. It's the museum's biggest fundraiser and helps us keep our exhibitions free and open to the public all year round. And we have the Emerge Block this year, which is brand new for the first time. It's artists who are new to the Art Fair scene, first time Art Fair artists that will be on the 100 block of state. And that's a brand new feature that we have this year. Wow, some exciting stuff going on. Now, Leslie, you took a look at that My Morning picture of the sun rising. You said, that just makes me want to paint. Tell us a little bit about where your inspiration comes from. So, I, to see a beautiful vista, like a sunrise or a sunset, not that I want to copy it, but I want that feeling of when you look at something and it's so beautiful, it's so clear, and this beautiful expanse and the color, the ranges of color and what happens with the clouds. and. You know, nature provides us with, with, with such a huge score of images and, and, and feelings, and that's kind of what I want to portray in my work, but in a very abstract manner, not in a way of copying or being a photograph, but, but translating that sort of inspiration, that, that vision that I have into a, a painting or, or a sculpture. And speaking of paintings, you have one here. Tell us about this piece. So, these are reverse painted. Uh, everything I'm doing is reverse painting now, and it's on acrylic glass. And reverse painting is painting on the back side of, of, the, of the surface so that you are looking through the other side of the surface. And then it creates these amazing sort of high definition color sort of interactions and the different things that can be done on the surface. And because it's acrylic glass, I can bend it. So, the, so what I've been doing lately are more sculptural wall forms. Now, earlier you were telling me that uh, when you do have kind of this distinctive look, a lot of people begin to recognize your work, and that's important. Tell us a little bit more about that. So I've been doing this for a long, long time, and people who have not seen my work will kind of recognize it, even though it has changed substantially. There is a thread of a, like an artist's soul that year after year comes through, even though you change, and they, and they recognize that it, in my, the way my marks are, the, my colors. Even though this is a completely different piece than I was doing 15 years ago, there is something there that is recognizable of mine that other people see that know my work. Well, that's awesome, and I'm sure that's something many artists thrive for. Well, Thank you so much, Leslie and Erica. For those of you guys who do want to check out Art Fair on the Square, it's this Saturday and Sunday, Saturday 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Sunday 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. All the details can be found at mmoca.org. And coming up, Adam and Danica, we're going to hear from another artist who is going to be at Art Fair on the Square this weekend. Back to you. Wonderful. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Eden. Appreciate it. We'll see dozens of white tents and hundreds of talented artists this weekend when that weather is going to turn pretty nice. Yeah, we're talking about Art Fair on the Square. It's in its 58th year right now. Wow. News 3 this morning reporter Eden Chekel is live with uh, more this morning on this celebration of everything art. Good morning, Eden. <laughs> Hey, Adam and Danica. I mean, this is a Madison tradition that attracts so many art lo lovers, thousands of them, every year. And I've got Erica Monroe Kane from the Madison Museum of Contemporary Art. And we've got artist Jan Norsetter. Good morning, ladies. Thanks for being here. Good morning. So, Erica, you were saying that a lot of people think of this event as something that's put on by the state, but that's not the case. That's absolutely right. This event has been put on for a long time by the Madison Museum of Contemporary Art, and it is our biggest fundraiser of the year. It helps keep museum admissions free and free access to all of our education programs. So it's really important event for us. Very cool. Now, Jan, I've been staring at this painting as soon as it's gotten here. Um, tell us about the inspiration behind this. It's very soothing. I was looking at a lot of your artwork. It seems like that's the goal there, right? That's the goal. Um, this is from a little road out near New Glarus, and I um, painted this. I started it in plein air, which means I painted it outside and then brought it back into the studio to finish it. And um, it's an example of what um, the changes that happen in our landscape. Um, the landscape no longer looks anything like this. 
So I've made a record of something that doesn't exist any longer. But uh, Now, you were a part of Art Fair on the Square in the 70s, and then wow. you decided to come back, you said, two or three years ago. Why come back? It's a great opportunity to be in front of a really large audience, and it's one of the best fairs in the country. What is it that you hope people get out of your artwork? A sense of peace, a sense of place, and an appreciation for the landscape that we have. Now, you've got an interesting process here. I think, you know, I asked you, how do you know when a painting is done? Tell us. Uh, it talks to me. Um, I let it speak to me, and when it stops talking, I walk away from it. Wow. Well, that's a process. Not a lot of people are talented and can make something like this. So thank you again, ladies. We really do appreciate you guys being here. For those of you guys who do want to check out Art Fair on the Square, it's this weekend. It's on Saturday. We're going to have that graphic there. It goes from 9 to 6 on Saturday, 10 to 5 on Sunday. For more information, you can head on over to MMOCA.org. Again, Adam and Danica, this is a big event. They're expecting at least 200,000 people. Back to you. It's, it's always a huge, yeah. huge, massive event. Eden, thanks so much. Appreciate it.